Good morning all. It was a late one last night. I was up till 3.20 trying to watch Wrestlemania online until I realised that it wouldn't let me. So I just watched episodes of Castle and Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. instead. And Sarah had a lovely night in the hotel. Oh yes. Taxi. <laughs> and now it's all about the crepes. This morning we are in search of crepes. We just found a place, a crepe, a crepe place that does them and they looked all good, cheap, everything. We went in, no crepes until 12, apparently. What's that about? Like, why, why would you not cook them until 12? We need them now. <laughs> so, yes, but I think it's going to be a chocolatey looking breakfast. Yeah. Um, and it's our last full day with Sarah because she's leaving me tomorrow to go back to England and be boring. Yeah. And uh, I think I'm going to stay one more day in Dublin, do a bit more touristy stuff. And then I'm going to head back to Galway, because I love Galway. I've stayed within my budget and everything, but then my budget was never particularly large, so... <laughs> oh, the same sites. <gasps> A crap place. Okay, this is called Indulge. One really needs the crepes. Okay, you need... Push it. Push it. <laughs> well, the things... The chairs against the door. Maybe. No, we cannot work out how to open the door. Lily, Sarah, Sarah. It's actually locked. How weird. It's actually locked. They don't want to let us in. Maybe you're supposed to go through there. Ah, look, you're supposed to go through here. That'll be why. Because you're supposed to walk through this bit. Special. Yeah. Well, we haven't had a coffee yet, so the brain's not exactly working right now. Okay, they have food that looks good, and meal deals of some description, and monster. Do not let me drink this. Okay, we are finally going to try this place, we think, which is the florist slash bakery. If they have crepes, we're not sure. But the cakes look good. And they have flowers. Easter. It's Easter this weekend, apparently. And... I don't know, I haven't got anything for anybody. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it smells amazing in here. It's like hyacinth and daffodils and everything. And we've ordered crepes. <laughs> I was going to be healthy and have a fruit one, then I was like, no, all about the chocolate. All about the chocolate. <laughs> you can't be healthy on our last day. <laughs> no, it's true. We're possibly together. going to the whiskey factory as well today. <laughs> um, but we are going to do a cathedral. We haven't done the cathedral yet, so we're going to do that. Look at it. Look at it. Yes. <laughs> okay, well this is a really cool place to chill out. We just had um, a coffee and a crepe and it was only €6.50. Not bad at all. And um, we really like it here. It's all... Uh, Nature covered and yeah, pretty. Get yourself thinking you're in the Bahamas. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna get a card. Yes. Okay, it is City Florist and Cafe, that place. And they do amazing crepes. When in Dublin, come to that place and uh, get a crepe and a coffee because it's good. So far, it's pretty amazing. Strongbow. This is uh, Lord Strongbow. This 
is certainly one thing that the Catholics do a heck of a lot better than us Buddhists. They do decoration pretty amazingly. Look at this stained glass window. It's just She sings it in the cathedral, it's awesome. But then nobody would be looking at the bride because they'd all be going, look how pretty the church is. <laughs> there is more. Okay. It appears to be going down into a dungeon. I think it's going to be like a Da Vinci Code sort of deal. <laughs> it's the fox and the fire, I'm sure. <laughs> Oh my god, I thought you were joking. You're serious. later on in the, in the editing process. She's got a big ass sword. Maybe she killed him. Who knows? Who Great sandals. Viking actually started building this church. How cool is that? 
It's actually like a whole bunch of information down here as well. It's not just the beauty of the cathedral, it's like history of Dublin, of the cathedral, of you know, Catholicism and Vikings apparently, so it's pretty cool. Money worth it. So, as it turns out, one of my favourite shows, The Tudors, was actually filmed here on several occasions. It ran over um, the course of about four years, four seasons, and um, these are some of the actual costumes, which is pretty cool, that they've got on display here. So it's really nice to think that, you know, some of my favourite actors were... Yeah, and they used um, this cathedral for the coronation of... And Berlin, who's played by Natalie Dormer, who I absolutely love at the moment. She's kicking ass in Game of Thrones. But they're all really, rather really beautiful, and it's cool to see them up close, especially if you're interested in, in movies and TV like I am in the production of that. Really also, I didn't know that they'd filmed some of it in Ireland, and here yeah, they actually used this part, you know, um, the underground section of the cathedral, as the interior for the London dungeons. So that's quite cool to think that it's actually Irish. <laughs> this is the holy cake. <laughs> oh, we have scones and muffins. Very pretty. Oh my god. <laughs> Ugh. The cat and the rat. Trapped in the 1860s and became one <laughs> Ooh. Poor cat. How do they not smell it? Surely every time they play the organ it like will last and cool. I think I'd like to be greatly lamented. That's how I'd like to go. Greatly lamented. Here we go. We um, we did think there was an upstairs, but then we couldn't find it. But uh, turns out you have to leave the actual main cathedral bit to get to the upstairs bit. Still rather beautiful, though. I'm a little bit opposed to walking up steps. Oh, hold on. No. No, no entry. Oh, that's because it goes to Dublina. Oh, okay. Oh, I feel like we're in Harry Potter. On the bridge. Like, Hermione, you're a numpty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's a lie. <laughs> Expelliarmus. Expelliarmus. Here we go. Well, that was actually really cool. I learnt loads. It was beautiful. It was actually surprisingly warm. <laughs> I like it. Got to see some awesome costumes from the Tudors. Loved that. Yeah, I'd say that was worth the money. What do you think, sir? I think it was worth the money. Yeah. I there was a lot of like stuff to learn. Um, I wouldn't recommend it for like really young children because it would just be over their head and plus you want to be quiet there and kids aren't quiet. <laughs> so yeah. unless you pinch their nose in which case they will be quiet. Unless you're an abusive parent like <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> Native Indians. <laughs> <laughs> Abuse. <laughs> we were just walking past this little alleyway bit and I spotted this. Amazing. Look how gorgeous. Oh, imagine if I just walked down the street in that. Incredible. What is this place? Like, I don't know. It has like fairy costumes and shiny stuff. Oh my god. Wow. It's like a crazy costume shop. It doesn't seem to have a name, maybe that's it. Claire Gravy or something. And oh my god, there's Predator. <laughs> Predator's just standing here. Sit there. Looking badass. 
Amazing. Worth it. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, maybe we can have a look at some of the awesome, like, graffiti street art as well. Yeah. Somewhere, because it's some really cool stuff going on. This is Dublin Ink. I should get a tattoo. Oh, wow, look at that. Beatles. There's another Barnacles hostel. Hey, even by day, it's still got the magic. I'm getting this patch to put on my bag. And that's where we at last night. Sarah just informed me. Huge bar, it was like up in the heavens a bit. We went there. We did. It looks so different during the day. I know. Oh, they're gonna drop something on my head. Little, uh, crazy art studio. Called the Icon Factory. Sarah's really cool and let me come. <laughs> I try not to drag around too many comic book shops, but needs must. We were tired, so we gave up on the whiskey factory. And uh, we are finally watching Love Rosie in the hostel, mm. just having a little sit down. And I did a basin wash, so my pants are everywhere, all over the room. So hopefully no one will come in because they don't have beds, they just have my pants to sleep on. <laughs> okay, well, Sarah is all booked and ready to go tomorrow morning. She's got a shuttle. Um, this hospital actually offers a service where it's a shuttle service that goes straight to the airport. And that was like six euros or seven euros or something. So that's pretty good. So she doesn't need to worry about getting a taxi or something. I'd like to do 50 days in Ireland. I've only got like another four days until it's 50 days, so I'm not too worried. And if it all goes tits up, I can always go back. I've put the money aside to go back again. So it'll be okay, but it'd be nice to be able to stay out here a little bit longer. Um, but I think we're pretty much done with Dublin now. I want to see Galway again. Anyways, um, we're going in search of orange biscuits because Sarah needs some more orange biscuits to take back with her. <laughs> yes, she does. It's official. Yep. I'm addicted. They yep. have to do them in the UK or else I'm setting up. <laughs> She's going to start her own company. <laughs> Why? Why did you scream? Oh, she's insane. Look, this is the shenanigans I've had to put up with. I'd be glad to see the back of her. Yeah. No, I'm freaking out about her leaving. <laughs> she's a very like, together she's, she's sort of person. Socks. I've been flapping socks. It's my way of panicking. And also of drying socks. And it's a good arm workout too. <laughs>